This morning, a warning from doctors about skin cancer as you start to spend more time in the sun. Study from Mayo Clinic shows between 2000 and 2010, non-melanoma skin cancers increased significantly. Squamous cell carcinoma went up more than 260%. You see that 145% increase in basal cell carcinomas. These have to do with kind of cancers that end up at the surface or on the lower levels of the skin. Mary McGuire with more. And Mary, this study really looked at people right here in Minnesota. It did. Mayo Clinic researchers were able to look at almost all of the adults who were diagnosed with skin cancer in Olmsted County. That, of course, is in Rochester, the home of Mayo Clinic, over a 10 year period, and the numbers they report are dramatic. Now, age and gender played a big part in what diagnosis a patient would receive. Women who were between 30 and 49 years old, they saw the biggest spike in that basal skin cell cancer diagnosis. That's the least risky and most treatable type of skin cancer. Men over the age of 29 also showed an increase. Women who were anywhere between 40 and 79 saw a big spike in squamous cell skin cancer, while men, they saw a slight decline. Treatment for that form of skin cancer can be a bit more serious. Now, even though bathing in the sun can feel great, especially after a cold Minnesota winter, there is no such thing as a safe tan. So we know that sun shining on moles causes more and more mutations, getting it closer and closer to melanoma. So that's why we, would, we don't want to just be laying out in the sun. So how do you know that you stay safe in the sun? Dr. Cheddar recommends using a sunscreen with a sun protection factor of 30. And that's important to say that it says broad spectrum. Make sure to reapply every two to three hours because there's no such thing as waterproof sunscreen anymore. And it can say that it's water resistant, but she says that you still need to reapply immediately every time that you get in and out of the water. Mary, do the researchers have an idea as to what's causing this? Well, there's a couple different factors, including genetics. The generation that saw that in Increase in skin cancer cases was also around during the advent of the tanning bed. Earlier skin cancer was diagnosed more often on the head and the neck, but more recently the cases on the torso and the legs, they increased as well. So that kind of shows you people are out sunbathing mm -hmm. without a lot of clothes on. Got to cover up. All right, Mary, thank you. Yep.